Welcome to Virtualize Everything, where we strive to educate and inform the viewer about technology and technology-related topics around the world of virtualization. Tonight's video presentation is going to be about adding an LVM storage drive using the Proxmox web interface. This is really simple, much simpler than some of the other techniques that we have done using the command line, and involves about five to 10 minutes worth of work. So with that, let's get started. So we can go select our server and then select disks. With disks selected, you're going to see all the available disks in our system. I have a few different disks for different tasks, some left over in my server, some like this one for backup that are for a future project that I'll be filming later on today. But with that, let's start working with this disk called SDB. So this disk has been used before for a couple of different tasks, but today we're going to be setting this disk up as an LVM volume for the storage of containers and VMs. So we're going to first start by wiping the disk. It's generally good practice to wipe all disks even if they're new, so you start fresh and know that they have been wiped. To do that using the Proxmox web interface is very simple. Highlight the disk, as we've done here, come up here and click wipe disk. It's going to give you a confirmation message telling you that all data will be lost. We can click yes, and Proxmox wipes the disk. Now with the disk wiped, see the usage of LVM disappears and changes to no. Now that we've wiped this disk, we need to initialize the disk with GPD. To do that, we're just going to click this button here, initialize disk with GPD. So now the disk has been initialized. It has a partition and a file structure on it. So now, we can add it to our LVM system so we can use it as an LVM drive for the storage of containers and VMs. To do this, we just go here to LVM under disks and we can click create volume group. With that, a pop-up appears and it should auto fill in our disk. If you click on the drop down, you can select other drives. As you can see, I have another drive appearing. We don't want to use that drive here today. We're going to select SDB and then we can give it a name. Storage. Now we click create and we get an error message because I've already used that name. Go figure. We'll just call it one and we can click create. Now there you go. The storage drive has been added. That is all you need to do to add an LVM storage drive to your Proxmox server. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and even comment. And also, if you'd like to support us, check out our merch store at store.virtualizeeverything.com. As always, have a good night.